viewers and uh, today's topic is gangrene so gangrene is the death of tissue uh, in part of the body uh, the gangrene happens when uh, a body part uh, uh, loses its blood supply and uh, this may happen from an injury an infection or any other cause you know. and uh, you have a high risk of gangrene if you have a serious injury or um, a blood vessel disease you know uh, such as uh, arteriosclerosis you know and uh, it's called the hardening of the arteries uh, in your arms or legs you know or uh, poorly controlled diabetes you know and the suppressed immune system or surgery the symptoms depend on the location and the cause of gangrene and uh, if the skin is involved uh, or the gangrene is uh, close to the skin you know uh, the symptoms may include like a, a discoloration uh, which means that blue or black if the skin is affected you know or red or uh, bronze if the affected area is uh, beneath the skin and false smelling of, uh, from the discharge you know and loss of feeling in the area uh, which may happen after uh, severe pain uh, in the area, you know. And if the affected area is uh, inside the body, such as gangrene of the gallbladder or uh, gas gangrene, you know, the symptoms may include like confusion or fever or uh, ga uh, gas uh, in the tissues beneath the skin, you know, and uh, uh, general ill like feeling, you know, and uh, low blood pressure or the persistent or the severe pain in the area, you know. Uh, now your doctor uh, may diagnose the gangrene from a physical examination and uh, uh, in addition the if he suspects you know he may order the further tests like uh, uh, anteriogram so which is a special x-ray uh, uh, to see any blockages in the blood vessels you know to help to plan the treatment you know and the blood tests like um, uh, white blood cell count that may be high you know if there is infection you know and the CT scan to examine the internal organs, you know, and uh, culture of the tissue uh, or the fluid from the wound uh, to find uh, any bacteria that's causing this infection or the examining the tissue under the microscope to look uh, the cell death, you know, and the x-rays and other imaging tests, you know. Uh, so once it's diagnosed, the gangrene requires urgent evaluation and treatment. And uh, in general, the dead tissue should be removed to allow the healing process of the surrounding living tissue and prevent further infection, you know. And uh, depending on the area uh, that has gangrene and the person's overall condition and the cause of the gangrene, the treatment may include like uh, uh, amputation, you know, of the body part that has the gangrene, you know, and uh, an emergency operation to find and remove the dead tissue and the operation to uh, improve the blood flow to the area, you know, uh, antibiotics and uh, repeated operations to remove the dead tissues. And uh, uh, the treatment is... Uh, uh, in an intensive care unit, you know, for the severely, mostly the patients are severely ill, you know, and they need the intensive care uh, in that case, you know. Uh, now, what should you expect, uh, I mean, the outlook or prognosis, you know? Well, it depends on where the gangrene is in the body, you know, and uh, how much the gangrene uh, there is and the person's overall condition, you know. And uh, if the treatment is delayed, uh, then the chances of getting better uh, decreases, you know and uh, it needs the prompt uh, treatment especially the removal of the affected part of the body uh, known as the amputation you know i know there are many complications uh, um, and uh, they depend on where in the body the gangrene is and how much the gangrene is there and the cause of gangrene you know and the personal overall condition and, and the possible complications include like disability from the amputation you know and uh, prolonged wound healing and if it's not controlled properly, then uh, death uh, can happen, you know, it could be fatal, you know, uh, because the infection spreads uh, uh, through the blood, you know, known as uh, septicemia. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. Uh, if you need more information, you can visit our website www.diseasesandtreatment.com uh, and please do not forget to subscribe to this channel for more informative videos every day. Thank you and goodbye.